Now is Kevin Rooney. Kevin, do you think years from now people will be looking at that minute and a half of tape and saying that was the, the essence of Mike Tyson? I hope not. By saying that, you're saying he'll never fight again. I don't mean that. I mean that that is one of the landmarks of his career. Uh, again, I, I hope not. I, I hope that there's some days there'll be a fighter that can really test Mike, really bring out everything he knows. See, he's, like, when I say he's only fighting 50%, I, I mean it, and, and I feel it's true. Because there's a lot of things he, that he's capable of doing and has done in the gym that he has never done in a fight. Are you fearful then that his announcement of uh, being retired, although most observers don't take it seriously, that it could seriously interfere with his career? Well, the only way he could seriously interfere with his career is if he retires. Now, I take it, he hasn't said, he hasn't told me that he retired. The last time I talked to him, he was going to fight again. But, you know, f fighters and people in the fight game are crazy. Mike's a little crazy, I'm a little crazy. And he could definitely retire, he could. I think that uh, he probably won't, he sh or he shouldn't, because he's, he's a dynamite fighter and he's not at, at his best. And, and uh, I would love to see him break these records that I speak of, because I think he has a legitimate shot to do it. You went into the ring wearing a shirt with custom motto on it, and you had a hat with Jimmy Jacobs, and you surely must be sick over this rift between the people who developed him and his new family. Well, I, I don't understand it. I'm, I'm a guy, let's sit down and let's straighten the whole mess out. That's how I feel. I want Michael to sit down with Bill Caton and discuss it. I, I do know that Bill Caton is honorable and honest, and you can't ask for better. You can't ask for better for that. From, from where I sit, you wonder why you would want to change something that has put Mike Tyson on track, not only to be a great fighter, but to be probably the richest athlete in the history of the world by the time he's 24 or 25. Well, I, I, that's right. If something ain't broke, don't fix it. Thank you, Kevin, for appearing with us. You're a stand-up guy. And finally this. For a man who...